Hey guys, welcome back to the Bernard Burroughs channel and today I'll be telling you guys about how to remember your dreams. Okay, so before we start, what are dreams actually? Now, dreams are a series of images, pictures, ideas, sensations and emotions that we see involuntarily in our mind I will sleep during several stages of sleep. Now, first of all, dreams occur most times during REM sleep, right? Now, what is REM sleep? REM sleep is rapid eye movement sleep. Yeah, it's a phase of sleep, right? So now what majorly occurs in this phase of sleep is that like when you close your eyes, your eyes begin to like move rapidly. And so this is during that period where dreams are actually more vivid and is rememberable now dreams can occur in other phases of sleep but dreams that occur during REM sleep are more vivid and more memorable yeah okay i think we got that down and also the scientific study of sleep is called neurology i just wanted to get out of my system yeah okay so now for you to remember dreams has to be important right so i'm just going to give you like some different ancient views about dreams now actually the chinese believe that dreams were like now they had the let's say soul model kind of like, like how they viewed the soul was that like your soul was divided into two and like one part of your soul while you sleep goes into sleep you know yeah apparently and the other one stays back now while you wake the other one comes back and during that period of like you're so wandering around sleepy realm that's when you dream apparently yeah it's pretty weird not like okay now let's go to a less weirder version of it like the ancient egyptians believed that dreams were like oracles and stuff like you know all that stuff you see in movies where like people walk into like some mystical den or something like that and, like there's a shaman or something like that. Yeah, that dreams are that like that shaman, like the oracle. So dreams told you things about like the future and stuff like that. Um, maybe true, maybe not. But yeah, pretty that's what they believe. And they, they believed it so much so that they actually wrote their dreams in objects called papyrus. Now, what's a papyrus? A papyrus is more 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 or less the stem of a papyrus plant. Apparently, they could write stuff on the planet. Yeah. The Egyptians were really inventive, actually. Yeah. So, and, yeah, that's how they actually view dreams. Now, my guys, the Greeks. Now, I don't know about you, boy. If you're into God of War, I think you will be. <laughs> yeah, so the Greeks actually view dreams as warnings. From who? The God of Dreams. Guess his name, actually. I mean, when I saw it, I was like, whoa. Morpheus, yeah, Matrix Morpheus. I think that's where they got the, the name from. The god of dreams in Greek mythology, his name is Morpheus. Yeah, pretty cool actually. Let me think about it. I mean, Morpheus is the one that gave Neo the chance to wake up or continue sleeping, so makes sense. So, yeah, back to what we're saying. Now, let's go a bit contemporary actually. Now, We've all said about ancient Greece and stuff like that. Um, Egyptians, Rome, okay, into, I'm not sure, I haven't said Romans, but Egyptians, Greeks, and Chinese. Now let's go a bit contemporary now. Um, more contemporary um, statements about dreams, like for example, Carl Jung, um, a really great psychoanalyst during this time around the, ninth, around the 20th century, actually, he said that dreams were like revelations of your innermost like can i say your deep-seated worries were like revealed to you in re recurring dreams actually that's one of that was his take on dreams now now enough with all the history gimmicks and stuff like that like like okay now let's go to the like how is dream important like why is remembering your dreams actually like why should i do that like why like, why the hell should i do that okay so now i'm going to give you two examples of individuals who make who made 
I mean radical discoveries in science. Okay, right now it's not so radical, but during that time it was pretty much a big thing. For example, Dmitry Mendeleev. Now, who is Dmitry Mendeleev? Dmitry Mendeleev was the guy that discovered the periodic table. Yeah, that stuff you stay up 12 a.m. in grade school or something, popping just two alphabets in your head. I mean, we've all made songs for it. I, I remember when I was in like in school, was one, um, hello, Helen, listen, baby, before coming, never often, but a neon. Now, Maggie allows us to pass so called argon potassium, argon potassium calcium. Yeah, that's like I just mentioned the first 20 elements right there in the song, so yeah, it was really stressful, but yeah, apparently, that stuff that discovery will actually save helped a lot of people in science actually without the, the periodic table won't have a coherent structure in our chemistry which could impede a lot of things actually it could make life really difficult for a lot of chemists so yeah that was a really good discovery another discovery that really impressed me was the discovery from um Kirkle, Ag August Kirkle now who is this guy is the guy that discovered if you've ever heard of the element Benzene. Okay, he discovered the structure of benzene. Now, the discovery is not really what got me, but how he discovered it. Now, he had a dream that the elements, right, all came together into the form of a snake. Yeah, I said it a snake. Like, I mean, that's, that was, I mean, to me, <laughs> that would have been a nightmare, but yeah, a snake. And what, what did the snake do? Now, the snake actually went round and bit its, its own tail. Now to form a circle. Actually, through that picture, that was how he got the idea for the structure of benzene, which is actually one of the it's actually a very important hydrocarbon in organic chemistry. So yeah, I mean remembering dreams are actually pretty important if you can actually make sense of it. So first of all you have to remember them to make sense of it. So I'm gonna give you like four points on how to remember your dreams. First of all, record your dreams. Yeah, I mean, it can't be any remember without recording. So, yeah, look for a paper and a pen beside your bed. So, when it hits you, that kind of revelation. You can actually, you can actually have a paper and pen like, just right beside you to like, write it down, stuff like that. Who knows, you could be the next Dimitri Mendeleev to discover some radical something out there. And also, my second point is actually decide to remember your dreams like I don't know about you but how many of us like sometimes you like okay for example you have an important event and you have to wake up early right and you just say by 5 a.m. I'm going to wake up tomorrow and I don't know about you but I mean it's crazy like my body automatically like wakes up by 5 a.m. like it's crazy like that to, like that decision like like conscious effort to actually wake up and eventually your body actually kind of like does it like your little pal i think <laughs> i wasn't gonna use friends <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah it just does it third point on how to remember your dreams is why you're like it's actually easier to remember your dreams while your eyes are closed i mean like when i heard this for the first time i was like how does that make a difference but actually actually works like when you wake up and you have a dream, just close your eyes and like try and recall every dream in detail. It's like it's more detailed to recall it with your eyes closed than when your eyes are opened. Yeah. Yeah, so and the last point is drum roll. Okay. Yeah, the last point. Have a good sleep schedule, please. Come kind of sleeping like sporadically like you sleep four hours this night the next night you sleep eight hours the next night you sleep three hours the next night you sleep, next night you sleep nine hours like have a like an organized sleep schedule that is like, that makes it easier to actually remember your dreams because lack of sleep actually impairs memory and like every day is like just black hey guys and if you stay this long whoa I mean, that's like something for you. Here's a bonus point. Now, lucid dreaming is a type of dreaming in which you're dreaming, but
but you know your dream like awesome like lsd level stuff right there <laughs> like you're dreaming you're in the dream and you know you're dreaming so yeah thanks for staying oh, oh, please don't forget to like to like and subscribe thank you have fun